Hi, I'm Dr. Darshan, hand and reconstructive microsurgeon. I'll be describing about the scaphoid ligament reconstruction as described by Garcia Elias. This is a 30 year old gentleman who fell on his outstretched hand on the right side and complains of pain and instability in his right wrist associated with a clunk. This is the dorsal subluxation of the scaphoid which he demonstrated himself. The duration of injury was six weeks and his grip strength was reduced by 50%. And the range of movement was dorsiflexion 90 degrees, palma flexion about 80 degrees. X-ray showed 7 mm scaphoid interval. The radio scaphoid angle was 80 degrees, scaphoid angle was 110 degrees. MRI showed complete scaphoid injury with a dorsal subluxation of the scaphoid. We decided to go about the technique described by Garcia, the dorsal skin incision, EPL identified in the third compartment, extensor compartment divided, a dorsal capsulotomy was done by, as described by Berger and Bishop. The wide scaphoid unit interval was noticed and the scaphoid unit interval was reducible, the partial FCR being harvested, two skin incisions on the volar side, FCR sheath identified, separated and the SS wire passed in the sub, sub sheath of the FCR from distal to proximal direction. And the slit is made in the FCR and SS wire is passed through that slit. About 8 to 10 centimeter of the partial FCR need to be harvested. The suture is passed in the partial FCR before dividing, attached to the SS wire. And the partial FCR tendon is retrieved distally with this distal attachment intact. The scaphoid interval is well reduced. Two K wires are passed, reducing the scaphoid net interval. This is the rotating scaphoid. The lunate is anchored through a K wire passed from radius to lunate, and a tunnel is made from the palmar scaphoid tuberosity to the dorsal ridge of the scaphoid, where the normal scaphoid net ligament is attached. The FCR is retrieved from Palma to dorsal direction using an SS wire. A trough is made in the dorsal surface of the lunate where the partial FCR tendon is anchored. A slit is made in the radiotricator ligament wherein the partial FCR tendon which will be the future scaphoid ligament is passed through. This is a suture anchor being placed in the trough on the dorsal surface of the lunate. And the ligament 
will be sutured on the dorsal surface of the lunate with adequate tension finally the graft is sutured on itself this is the radius scaphoid ligament being sutured on the volar side the dorsal capsulotomy suture closed and the skin closure this is the immediate post-op images the 1.2 suture uh, mm anchor suture anchors passed in the lunate and the capitate KY is removed after 6 weeks and this is the range of movement after 6 months follow up the well reduced scaphoid interval good radius scaphoid angle and scaphoid angle thank you